Alright guys, welcome back to Loco. Uh, I'm going to go over a quick tutorial and startup guide to uh, kind of get you started. Uh, anytime that you want to create a new game, at least for the first map, uh, we do have more maps on the way. But uh, this right here is spawn location. Uh, you can purchase any of the equipment you see here as long as you have enough money. Uh, just by going over it and clicking the buy or sell button and if it has a color variation you can click on the color and it will change it uh, i have already uh, purchased my locomotive and we also have track set up to the first two freight locations which we are going to jump right into now so j f1 uh, teleported me over to my locomotive uh, i've already got it set up over here most of it loaded uh, i'm going to go over real quick how to load the cargo um you did this little green box right here that you see uh it will be at every single freight location whenever you spawn a piece of freight it will spawn exactly the size and look of this box here so you just line your rail up right underneath of it like so and then you walk over to a sign like this somewhere near the green box this is the only one that's really in a different location than the others all the others will be like right up against the box um, but you will see that whenever we get to our selling location so just click the spawn and it will spawn a good this is the only one that actually has a limit on how much you have in here but I mean this uh, will eventually replenish itself once we get that worked in but uh yeah let's start our trip we are going to stop by the water tower pick up a little bit of water uh, this is the water in the locomotives water storage this is the water that is in the boiler um, figured it would be a little bit more helpful uh, this for the firebox you just look straight at it click a few times as long as you see some fire it should be good uh, this is the speedometer and this is the water gauges on this locomotive um, as you can see here we do have standard gauge and narrow gauge track uh, I have done this all in narrow gauge this is going to be my narrow gauge world but uh, yeah if if uh, you would like to know any more about that, just uh, let me know, and we will get that done. We're going to be stopping right there at that water tower to be picking up some water. That way we can make this trip and hopefully not run out. <laughs> this locomotive is not the most efficient when it comes to water consumption, uh, but it is narrow gauge. And it is quite the small little guy. Uh, now for these, usually there will be a little green hitbox to let you know, but these have the hatches. So just pull that spout right above these hatches and this locomotive will fill with water. Oh, we went too far. Not the most skilled locomotive driver. <laughs> topped off so let's start our journey and don't worry this water tower does have an infinite water supply currently so no worries on that so you always got water as long as you can get back there and we also do have a water truck that you can purchase at the shop the that will allow you to deliver water to a locomotive that you have ran out of
Uh, this path right here you do need to build a bridge over. Uh, this is the way to go that gives you the least amount of an incline. Um, in fact we're already just about over it. It flattens out right here at the top and then it's all downhill from here. Uh, I'm still trying to work with uh, Joe on making better places for us to build track because um, I know I wouldn't want to build just normal track on the ground through here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not my cup of tea. Uh, by the way, this track took me about uh, 30 minutes, maybe 45 to lay down. Uh, so, it's kind of a rush job. Nothing in it's too awful perfect, but most of your narrow gauge never had truly perfect rail, so... I don't mind it too awful much. Uh, I do wish some of this stuff was a little less steep. Hopefully we can make a buck up out of here. Yeah, we seem to be doing pretty good on the water consumption. Obviously, the faster you run on here, uh, it does use up more water, because uh, you're using up more steam to move down the rail, so you also do have to watch about how you operate uh, on long trips so you don't run out of water. Uh, wanted to be somewhat realistic with uh, that functionality, but then again, it's we're still trying to keep it to where the average person that doesn't know about all this can still play the game, so that's the reason it's not 100% realistic on the water consumption of these. But we are still doing working on game balance, uh, so things are likely to change uh, as we find out more about what the community is wanting to s actually see out of the way that the game performs. Uh, we appreciate any kind of input. Uh, we do have a link on the Steam page for the, our Discord, which you can come and chat, give out ideas suggestions, references, anything that can help us make the game more enjoyable for everyone. Um, but yeah, the we appreciate any advice. <laughs> This right here is the very first freight location. Uh, any of these red icons, or beams of light, however you want to call them, uh, those are indicating places that will buy cargo and also create cargo in place of what it purchases. Um, and we are getting ready to demonstrate that here. Uh, I'm just going to let this thing coast on by. At least hopefully that's enough speed. <laughs> so in order to sell cargo, you just 
bring your locomotive to where it goes through this green box and any item that is inside of it as you can see here on the list once you click it will sell it and we are selling standard goods that's what we start with all right we just sold nine pieces of cargo if you come over here we're at 11 that's because i've already actually hauled some uh wait no this place actually starts with two uh pieces of cargo um that will may change in the future not too sure but uh if i'm not mistaken i think they're slightly smaller than this green box now uh yes they are but yeah um once you spawn it you can see the account went down uh, so you do actually have to supply this one to make some but then again our ratios are all one to one so for every cargo you bring you make one cargo uh, a place that these can go are, uh, we can take them to the lumber, uh, pretty much anywhere. If you press I, uh, it brings up the sell hub. Uh, you can see there, standard goods, anywhere that purchases that will make whatever is at that location. Um, so any of those places you see that are purchasing it, as long as it is a red icon, uh, that is a place that will make a higher income freight. Uh, heavy goods, which is where we're currently at, you can see that, that pretty much everywhere accepts that, except for itself and Billy's Boards, which is a place to take logs to make lumber. Um, large materials uh, is way out there where those two red are uh, that is a place to make large goods and uh, also heavy military which is tanks uh, those are some of the most expensive uh, that you can sell but it is also one of the longest trips uh, it goes from that corner of the map to the opposite corner uh, which is roughly about a hundred and some kilometer trip um, and if you are running diesel locomotives and running at a high speed on standard gauge, uh, it would take roughly about 15 minutes, give or take. So it does take a bit to get all the way across the map, but then again, it's your choice. You don't have to make run long runs if you do not wish to. Um, coal is a little bit different there. It's for each piece you sell I think the price drops uh, two dollars at each selling location uh, that is a game balance that we are trying out that way to where somebody doesn't just want to run nothing but coal all day long um, and then wind up getting burnt out on the game um, and there is also eventually going to be a buy and sell time uh, implemented eventually uh, that way to where you can keep stuff stored up and stock uh, have like a stock at a place and then whenever there is a sale event going on then you can take that cargo and go sell it for a higher price uh, that'll give a uh, kind of like an objective feeling to the game uh, hopefully and keep you more interested uh, anyway well that's uh all I'm going to be doing for this video. Uh, if you need any more tips, tricks, any kind of videos you would like to see in the future that would help you uh, help ease the feel of gameplay, uh, please let me know and I will do my best to get you some info and I'll let you see how I do it. Uh, my name's John R. R. on Discord. Uh, anyway. Hope y'all enjoy.